Good evening and welcome to my home in Weymouth. My name is the Reverend Matthew Renyard. I'm a curate here serving the parish of Radipole and Malcolm Regis. Welcome to our service of night prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. saying together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness! You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work, and to their labour unto the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is a sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made to play in the depth. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Praise the God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation, in its groaning and striving, may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading is from Revelation 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of the lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. We're now just going to have our intercessions and as I pray, when I say, Lord, hear us, would you respond with, Lord, graciously hear us? Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us for the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, so our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and to all whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us, as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me in another service of night prayer. Thank you for joining me in my study this evening. I pray that you are safe and well wherever you might be or whoever you might be. So take care and God bless. <laughs>